Well, you know, it's um, definitely fall. And during fall, the weather tends to get a little bit, um, yeah, schizophrenic. You leave the house, all wrapped up and cozy. And by the time you make it to the office, the sun is to come out and you're sweaty as shit. So you really need an item of clothing that, that looks good, that, that, that feels good, that can be, be layered up, can be layered down. You need an item of clothing that's just going to last you through to that, that point where you really, really have to reach for a winter jacket. And it's probably not much of a surprise that that item of clothing is a denim jacket. So, let's look at the denim jacket styles out there. Then we'll find the right wash and the right colour for you. We're going to look at how to get the most out of it stylistically by seeing how to layer it up or layer it down, depending on whatever mood the weather might be in at that time. And then we're going to finish up by looking at a few of our options. Right, uh, Editor Matt here. Uh, as you've probably already noticed, something's gone a little bit wrong, a lot bit wrong, with my microphone, and I haven't figured out what it is. So, I've done my best to fix the sound for the rest of the video, but it's not quite as good as I want it to be. But we're going to have to roll with it. I hope that's okay with you guys. I apologise. When it comes to denim jackets, it might appear that there are... An infinite amount of options out there and and yes that that is true however when it comes to actual styles then that is only around about five the levi's one two three the lee rider and the wrangler mj124 these are just styles that define the denim jacket and anything that's come come after this that's actually worth paying attention to they are, are variations or amalgamations of, of these basic styles. I mean, if I'm really talking about a, a denim jacket in purely pragmatic terms and stylistic terms, I think for the majority of people out there, it's going to be the Type 3. Maybe, maybe, maybe the right Type 2. The thing is, the, the Type 3 is it's just been copied so many times by so many people there's so many good options out there there's also so many bad options out there but there are a lot of good options out there the others they they haven't been copied so much and if we're going for maybe a repro model then that falls firmly into the the denim head category i at least in my opinion okay moving on to colors and to washes uh, this is going to depend a lot on what you're wearing day to day, but I think you really can't go far wrong with a raw indigo denim jacket, whatever style it might be. You're going to get a ton of mileage out of it, it's a stylistic classic, and it's going to get better the more you wear it. But if you, if you are wearing raw denim jeans uh, each and every day, then pairing up with a raw denim jacket, especially if it's brand new, can make you look a little bit smurf-like. Personally, I, I quite like that look, but I, I know some guys are really not into it. And if that's the case, maybe go for, for a mid-wash. There's going to be enough contrast to look really good with a pair of brand new raw denims, and it's also going to go with pretty much all pants, or all casual pants. Actually, just thinking about it, this might be the most versatile. Another option, if you don't want to go full-on Papa Smurf, is a black denim jacket. And again, this can go from full-on rigid to a, a mid-wash. I am tending more towards the full-on rigid, because unless the wash is done very, very well, it's just a grey denim jacket, and I think that looks a bit... Uh, it's, it's not for me, put it that way. So that is, again, going to give you enough differentiation between a pair of, of new raws, and it's also going to be pretty versatile, going with pretty much everything. Now, the last option that I'm going to throw out there is going to depend on how brave you are and how much you spill. Natural or ecru denim. Not quite white denim, but it, denim that's not been dyed. It's like is the pure cotton. Personally, I love Ecru denim. I think it looks amazing with anything from a crispy new pair of raws to the most broken down, fucked up project pair. It does, however, come with a few drawbacks which should be self-evident. I mean, you're gonna look, you're gonna be clarty after the first two minutes, but for those two minutes, you're gonna look absolutely amazing. Now, I know, I know, I'm very, very well aware that there are denim jackets out there in every single colour under the sun. 
just for me personally, the, the natural indigo, the black and the ecru, they are the most versatile, the most classic, and I think they're going to stand the test of time. But if you are into another color, go ahead and go. This, this is just me furnishing you with a little bit of knowledge, telling you the way that I would go. This isn't canon. Okay, styling. Again, this comes down to versatility and practicality. The, the beauty of a denim jacket is that it can be layered up and layered down quickly and easily and you can stay stylish with very, very little thought. Now here are just a few ways that, that work for me. Classic of all classics over a white t-shirt. And if it's getting a little bit colder out, then put a flannel on over the white t-shirt and put your denim jacket on over the flannel. If you are 10 years younger than I am, then you can pair it with the hoodie. And if you are my age, so over 40, I do think that it works much better with a woolen jumper. Or maybe with like a crew neck sweater, which I don't have one here right now. But that could work too, if you're over 40 and if you're under 40. That just works. And then when the winter really gets rolling or it's pissing down with rain, you can use it instead of an overshirt under a proper winter jacket. And of course it also looks absolutely amazing worn under a wax jacket. But you see what I mean, right? It's, it's, it's one garment and there's so many possibilities. But okay, so now I'm going to leave you with, with a few options. First up is the one that I'm wearing right now. And this is my, my denim jacket of choice at the moment. It's the Type 3 from 316 in their washed shadow selvage. So I think that's around about a 12 ounce denim. It's just, it is one of the best contemporary takes on the Type 3 that I've ever come across. All of the details that make it a Type 3 are there, but it's got that very well proportioned body and it's got a little bit extra length and most importantly, it's got the hand warmer pockets. In fact, no jacket is gonna make this list unless it has hand warmer pockets. Next up is another one of my favorites and one that I do reach for pretty, pretty often. Although, looking at it, it doesn't look like I reach for it very often. Denim jackets just take a long time to break in, guys. Anyway, it's the Benzac Denim Developers BDJ05. And uh, this is just, this is what I, I, I mentioned before, where a, a brand can take a couple of these different classic designs and mash them all together and make uh, something that's distinctly theirs, but still has all these historical references. And I think Benzac has done a very, very good job of that with this jacket. It's, it's kind of type three. It's got these like converging parallel seams coming down the front, but also it's a little bit wider with the, the curved pockets here. And it's distinctly Benzac, if that makes any sense. I like when a brand can actually put their own identity into a piece and I think that Leonard and Benzac has really managed to do that. Um, another thing that I really, really like about this jacket is how well they've managed to conceal the hand warmer pockets. Now for an Ecru option, I'm going to go for this Rogue Territory 14 ounce cruiser jacket. You, you'll see this is a Type 2, it's not the Type 3, but I think it's a very, very good take on the Type 2. It's got that contemporary fit, they've taken the, the, the two chest pockets and just moved them up to a more practical level. And then they have added, of course, the hand warmer pockets. And really, you don't know how important hand warmer pockets are till you don't have them. Anyway, back to jackets and back to black denim jackets. And I'm torn. I'm torn between the, the Oni Type 3 in their, their secret denim and this Telesin in a double black denim. You see, I, I'm torn because the Oni comes in at 20 ounces. And even though the secret denim is absolutely incredible, 20 ounces is pretty heavy, maybe even too heavy. The Telesin, on the other hand, also amazing denim, but it comes in at 13.5 ounces, which is really, that hits my, my sweet spot. Hmm. Actually, you know what? They're, they're both amazing. They're both great takes on the Type 3. They both have, have hand warmer pockets. And so I've left links down below to, to these two jackets and all the other ones, actually. You check it out and decide for yourself. And in fact, in, in finding your perfect jacket for fall, we have skipped over, glossed over a lot of the fascinating history of the denim jacket. 
And so what I've done is I've put together a, a playlist of, of all the content I've done on denim jackets, starting off with the history of Levi's denim jackets, and I put a link to that right here.